Welcome to another episode of Dirty Car Confessions. We took a week off. We've been karting around Cape Town looking for new spots. There's been no wind here. This week we have Sam Light with us. Legend in the sport, been around for a long time. Um, he's done the king of there many times. This year he is a reserve and recovering from gnarly rib injury. Uh, let's catch up with him and see what he has to say. So you just arrived back in Cape Town. Are we recording now? This yep. is live. Yeah, so just got back to Cape Town. Stoked to be back here for a month this time. Even though I'm not actually probably going to be in the event, which is a bummer. But this is your good. first time in like many years not being in the event. Yeah, yeah. First time in yeah, like six years or something since. Uh, there was one year I didn't come. Um, but yeah, every year basically. So it's actually, I'm, I'm stoked to be back and just be able to like have some time for myself. Um, because sometimes when I come for a short period just for the event, I never really have time to, you know, try some different tricks and, and explore. It's like I've already learned two new board offs. <laughs> First day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did a pizza toss too. Oh, okay, yeah, <laughs> Modeski special, he taught me it. <laughs> the old pizza toss, take that one as well. So it's fun. And to be honest, like it was reinvigorating my kite surfing stoke. Like, you know, it's always cool, like learning something new. And, uh, you know, my generation is always sort of like, taking the piss out of board offs it's just been fully embraced now like it yeah. was crazy the scene at Hermanos yesterday just like everyone I went out in bindings thinking it was like flat or maybe throw some handle passes just like felt like the old one out in bindings <laughs> out there like no one's unhooking everyone's spinning their board around and just embraced embraced it so you've got to move with the times <laughs> who do you see on the podium this year good question um I've been pretty impressed by some of Yannick's clips. I think uh, Aaron's actually gonna, I think he's hungry for it this year. I think he's also taken it a lot more seriously. Like he's come out early. He's also got on the straps thing, learned all his old board offs again. So I think he's gonna be a contender. Like when he was doing the board offs like last year and the year before, he was really just winging it, like doing stuff that he's done, did, really done. did 10 years yeah. ago. And just like, oh yeah, I can still do that, <laughs> cool. But now he's actually practiced, I think he's going to be a contender i think you can never obviously discount kevin just because he goes consistently very high no, it's going to be interesting sure it's going to be interesting just like watching and, and being chilled about it because last year i did my rib just before and i was you know just bummed the whole time but this year it's kind of different what's the worst yeah. injury you've had mm, i would say either my ankle or my rib to be honest the rib has been one of the most frustrating it was the cartilage that i damaged um, I didn't know the first time, waited like, you know, two and a half months, started kiting again, it was fine, and then had one nasty crash and the harness pulled up and I was back to square one, like same pain that I had at the start. So then I did like another three months, this brought me to like summertime. So there's this been like a painful, just like, you know, ongoing all year thing and annoyingly I wasn't able, you know, to get any more clips. To you know for this year um because of the rib like i missed a lot of opportunities what really pisses you off uh i'm not wave riders anymore i know <laughs> i should say that those, those, but you're a team manager those, now those so. fucking wave guys yeah you know what pisses me off is when i'm about to hit a ramp and they just come down the line on the wave <laughs> i've chosen that ramp like it's my ramp <laughs> you've seen it from like 20 meters away and you know yeah. you're going for it and then they come and do a hack like yeah um no to be honest not much pisses me off that doesn't actually piss me off by the way i'm uh, i'm all up for that i don't know i guess when people turn around and they don't check because it's pretty bad here now it's so busy and you're covering so much distance i'm guilty of it too but it gets pretty dangerous so it's weird I like yeah. if you do any other sport at this level you have like arena to yourself like if you're doing motocross you don't have like kooks or novices in the same track yeah. as you which yeah you just like everyone's training for this event and there's just everyone on the water at the same place yeah it's very unique you know it just the stretch right here is, is the only place in the world like it so hey you got to share it with about a thousand other kite boarders uh, what do you think about Ayrton competing this year <laughs> I think it's cool to showcase that side of the sport. I think it's tricky because, um, you know, it is a different discipline. Um, but the truth of the matter is, like, if he's going as big, then he should be in it. Like, why not? Um, and he does go big and does some crazy stuff, which is awesome. Um, I think it's 
hard to compare like apples to oranges you know because apples have a great crunch and oranges annoying to peel you know it's like <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what a great analogy <laughs> if he does like you know puts the board in between his legs and you know does loads of spins it covers loads of distance like how can you compare that to someone doing a board off i don't know but it's like it's cool man yeah why not i think uh yeah and he got a wild card as well so that's like a free spot yeah so at the end of the day it's all about the crowd and getting people to watch the event and if it brings more people in and people are stoked on it then then why not you know who do you think is not in the event who should be in the event uh myself oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. but um yeah to be honest tom bridge would have been cool just because he has a little different flavor um he's really like you know got his own style yeah i kind of think that they have given a lot of opportunity to like new young riders this year which is cool so giving that stage to them people always perform better than they you'll never see them ride so it's going to be interesting you know to see if they rise up and really go for it because there's one thing like doing it in your home conditions when it's all comfortable and nice but then all of a sudden when you're out there and it's crazy it does you know change the game a little bit so hopefully they can rise to the occasion okay sweet yeah thanks for that okay we're gonna have another episode <laughs> later on after a night of pokers yeah that's it <laughs>